Hello victorious ones. How are you doing? Oh, everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful day. So right now I'm going to read with you guys John chapter 9. And today is day 9 of our 40 day fasting. And if you have not been following the fast, go on to the pod and join us. God has God has been amazing. The Holy Spirit has been teaching us so many different things. And so I invite you to join us in the name of Jesus. Okay. So the sun is glaring in my face or whatever. So I don't even know how this video is going to come out, but I'm still going to do it because I don't care. <laughs> I'm still going to preach the gospel. Amen. And so it says, as he went along, he saw a blind man, a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned this man or his parents that he may that he was born blind. So the disciples are asking, like, who committed um, the sin for this man to be born blind? And it says, verse three: Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus. But this happened so that the work of God might be displayed in his life. And so everything is not sin. Sometimes God is allowing things to happen so that we can see his glory. Amen. And we don't understand it. You know, it doesn't make sense to our flesh. It doesn't make sense, but we trust, we trust God. Amen. But this happened so that the work of God might be displayed in his life. As long as it, as long as it is day, we must do the work of him. Who's it says, as long as it is day, we must do the work of him who sent me night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And so Jesus said, no matter what, we have to do the work of the Father. Amen? Whether we have questions or not, whether we agree with things or not, we must obey God. And it says, night is coming. And for many of us, it seems like we're in night right now with all that's going on in our world, with the pandemic, with people not having jobs, unemployment is high, you know? The children are out of school. They don't know when schools are going to be able to open up, reopen up. And so it seemed like it's night, but it's not fully night yet because the saints are still here and we are filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is our light. Amen. God is our light and our salvation. Psalm 27. Amen. And so we, the believers, we're here praying and fasting to make sure that God's will is established, that God's will is being done on earth as it is in heaven. And so we're going to continue to work, work in the kingdom, um, work in the vineyard. I thank God that we have been called for such a time as this. We're living in some difficult times, but we serve a big God, omnipotent God, El Shaddai, El Gabor, amen, Yahweh Sabiath. And so we trust him. And so while it is, you know, while Jesus and, you know, the Holy Spirit, well, while the Holy Spirit is in us and the saints are in the, you know, are here, we have light. God is light. And so it says night is coming when no one can work. It says while I'm in the earth, you know, while I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. And we have the light. The same way the sun is glaring on me. Jesus Christ, the word, God. Holy Spirit, the believers, we are light in this dark world. And so we're not nervous. We're not anxious because we know that God is helping us and no weapon formed against us will prosper. And, and you know, whether it's blindness or, or whatever it is that we're dealing with, as long as God is in control, we are okay. And so we all have different situations, right? Some people, maybe, you know, you're dealing with blindness. Somebody else, you're dealing with, you know, marital situations, you know, parental issues, whatever it is. God is in control. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will make it all right. Amen. And so verse six, having said this, Jesus spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva and put it on the man's eyes. Uncommon healing, honey. And in verse 7, he said, go, go, he told him, and wash in the pool of Siloam. This word means sent, right? Jesus is a sent one. He's a true apostle. He said, go wash in the pool. 
and we got to wash in the water of the word. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. And so when we wash ourselves the way that God tells us, we, we, we receive sight on a different level. And I believe meditating upon the word of God, fasting and praying, is like washing in the water, dipping in the water like, like Naaman. And, and healing is the end result. And so when we go to God, healing is our birthright. We receive healing. Amen. And so it says the man obeyed. We have to obey. You know, it, 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 it doesn't make sense all the time. Imagine, you know, a minister spitting on the ground and, you know, and, and, and creating mud with the saliva and putting it on your eyes. Some people will say, no, thank you. Corona, <laughs> you know, no, thank you. That's disgusting. It don't take all of that. But I'm at a place in my life, Father, however you choose to bless me, I'm going to obey you in the name of Jesus. Because God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And we don't know more than God. Amen? And so he, the, the man obeyed, and he went home seeing. And we're praying that God will deal, deal with our, our loved ones accordingly, that they will go and dip in the pool, and that they will, they will come home seeing. The prodigals will come home seeing. And in verse 8, his neighbors and those who, who had formerly seen him begging, they asked them, is this, they asked, isn't, isn't this the same man? Isn't this the same man who used to sit and beg? Some claim that he was. And others said, no, he only looks like him. This cannot be the same person. But he himself insisted, I am the man. Because if any man be in Christ, he's brand new. Old things have passed away. Everything is brand new, honey. Verse 10, and then... And it says, and then, and then were your eyes open? It says, how then, excuse me, how then were your eyes opened? They demanded. How then were your eyes opened? Verse 10. And he replied, the man they called Jesus made some mud and put it on my eyes. He told me to go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed and then I could see. And they said, where is this man? Verse 12. Where is this man? They asked them. And he said, I don't know. And so God is opening up blinded eyes. Heavenly Father, I thank you for opening up the blinded eyes, effort that to our eyes, spiritually and naturally, Father God. You're showing us great and mighty things. According to Jeremiah 33, verse 3, Father God, thank you, oh God, that you're dealing with childhood issues, things that we, that we were born into, things that we were born with, Father God. You are healing, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the gifts of healing. Father, I thank you for raising up the, 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 the ministers who have the gifts of healing, Father, to help those who are sick, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Open up our blinded eyes, the blinded eyes of our children, our spouse, oh God, our, our, our leaders, Father, the church, and help us to see clearly, to know what you're doing, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we receive all your miracle signs and wonders. I thank you that we have eyes to see deeply into your word. You're showing us great and mighty things that we don't know about, and we thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover all of us with the blood of Jesus. And Father, I thank you that we can see the light. Amen. Be blessed, victorious ones. And I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to share this broadcast with somebody else.